Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on how to do your makeup when you're gonna go get your driver's license photo. I know that might seem silly, but a lot of people feel like their driver's license photos don't look like them. And that's probably because we're so used to taking photos the way that we like to take them in today's day and age, that when we have somebody take like a bland basic photo from like a straight on angle, <laughs> it just doesn't look like us. So um, today that's what I'm gonna focus on. I'm gonna focus pretty heavily on like contouring and bringing out the main features that I would like to focus on, like my eyes and my brows, because I feel like those features are um, like more prominent in photos and I think that that would bring out like the best in my opinion um, version of myself so um, I'm gonna do a voiceover through this video so I'm not gonna be talking through it just because I want it to be a little bit of a quicker video than my last one so it's not gonna be quite as in-depth as my last video was because my last video was super super in-depth hopefully if you care about in-depth videos you watched it because I have never like been more honest or in-depth in a video ever like that was so intense <laughs> so we're gonna like take it back a little bit and do kind of a more chill video today um, and I'm I'm just gonna do a voiceover over it and we're gonna just hang out and have fun and all that fun stuff. <laughs> so um, I think that's all I have for this intro. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the Far Sally Unicorn Essence. So far, I'm really, really liking this stuff. I do feel like it really makes my foundation look very smooth and dewy, and um, I feel like it just really, really evens out all of my skin. I'm a big fan so far. So we're gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, as always on my eyelids. This is just to cancel out any redness or veins. It really helps the shadows stay true to their original color. So I'm just going to be blending that in with a sponge as best as I can. I'm going to set that with the ColourPop powder. I'm a pretty big fan of this powder so far. Um, I can't really tell if it has any flashback yet, so I'm only leaving it on my lids, but so far so good. So next I'm going to go in with this shade here, it's called Peachy Keen, and I'm going to be focusing that on the outer corner and just kind of bluffing that into the center of the eyelid and all the way up into the crease. So this is going to be our transition shade. And I'm just using a small fluffy brush for this. Next I'm going to go in with Fired Up. This is a brighter orange shade just because I really want to give some life. Um, even though these photos are in black and white, I really want to add some warmth. And then the next shade I'm going in with is Vampy Vixen. I'm a pretty big fan of this shade. I love its color. It's got a little bit of pink to it, but it's also kind of warm. So I'm just putting that a little bit closer in the outer corner as well. And just to add a little bit more darkness, we're going in with Sparks Fly, which is right under that Peachy Keen shade. And I'm just gonna focus that primarily in the outer corner because I want this to be dark, but not too dark. So we're going in with some eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. I don't know why this part got cut off, but the regular Maybelline Gel Eyeliner like always. And this is an eyeliner brush that I've had from Morphe for literally ever. <laughs> and I have no idea what it's called, I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm just gonna do a tiny little baby wing, but I'm really focusing heavily on just getting a, some darkness along the lash line because I don't want my lashes to look ridiculous. So these are Lena Lashes. We're going in with the style Kim, which is the bottom ones. I really wanted to go in with the top ones, but when I looked at them, they have blue in them. So I was like, eh, that's not for today. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be putting this on with some House of Lashes Lash Glue. And my Full Lips Enhancer, as always. So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Brow Pencil. I'm not, I'm pretty sure this is Biscotti, but I can't remember the name, I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm a pretty big fan of these brow pencils so far. My only complaint is that there's not a ton of product, which I haven't actually looked up the price of these yet, so maybe it's worth it because there's, you know what I mean, like if they're super inexpensive, then it'd be totally worth it, but not a ton of product in here. I am a big fan, however, of the Morphe um, gel, the brow gel. I'm definitely a big fan of that. Uh-huh, and here we are, lips all full. 
So I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. This is an R230. Normally I would um, blend this in with some Cover FX drops, but I didn't want an overly highlighted appearance today because it's going to be in a photo and it, there's like a fine line between highlighted and sweaty. <laughs> so I just wanted to make sure that my face looked as um, covered and as matte as possible in all the areas that are most important. And then I will go in with highlight in the areas that I want them to be highlighted. So I'm going to go in with the exact same shade but the stick version just to give me a little bit more coverage on some of those areas that are giving me some hard times. So right on my chin um, where I've had breakouts recently, on my forehead and along my nose really is where I struggle the most. Um, so I'm just doing this because I don't want to use a concealer but I just want it to be a little extra full coverage. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation shade in mink. I, it's it's called a foundation stick but I'm pretty sure it's a contour stick so that's what I'm using it for <laughs> um, I actually got this at TJ Maxx for $6.99 you guys so I'm really excited about this um, I don't I have quite a few of their other foundation shades that I'm not a huge fan of to be totally honest they're kind of drying but this one really did not give me a hard time blending at all and I don't know if it's just because the formula I, the shade it was I don't know but I'm actually a really really big fan of this one so it worked perfectly to contour which I'm focusing pretty heavily on since um, I want to look nice and skinny in photos and some shape tape concealer again we're gonna go right underneath of the eyes and as you can see I take that all the way down to really really give myself that like flat appearance right underneath of the eyes and then along the bridge of the nose and up onto the forehead because that's a struggle part for me and a little bit on the chin as well because I'm really focusing on the skin in this look um, and I want this to look I want to look as dynamic as possible since it is a flat black and white picture um, the most um, dimension I can add to my face the better so that's what I'm doing Okay, so I'm gonna set all of that with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, which I'm a pretty big fan of. So I'm just gonna go around all of the areas of my face with this big fluffy brush and set that really, really well. And I'm focusing pretty heavily on, you know, keeping this nice and set so that I don't have any issues with any shininess or texture showing through, anything like that. And I totally got some in my hairline, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to set underneath of my eyes with that same powder, but with the sponge. And now I'm going to go in with contour. So these are the Makeup Geek contours. I've used them forever. And I'm just going to go, I, I kind of take from lightest to darkest to figure out how much I how much darkness I want. Um, but I'm really focusing on my contour today because I just want the most dimension in my face as possible. Um, which this is not totally necessary, but I'm such a big fan of doing like a nice intense contour when I get photos taken, especially because I have a very round face. <laughs> so we're just going to bake a little bit, which if you've never heard of baking before, you should totally look it up. It's so much fun. And then we're going to do some nose contour as well. Okay, I'm back. Sorry to stop this video in the middle of me doing my makeup, but I had a little bit of a breakdown with my memory cards. Um, I could not get any of them to work for whatever reason. I think there's something going on inside my camera that is switching the right um, lock switch. So that's awesome. So as you can see, my nails are different and I got Starbucks. <laughs> So <laughs> I went and got my nails done and got my Starbucks because I got frustrated and I had an appointment anyway. So we are back. All is well. We're going to continue the video even though it's been ridiculous. So let's get on into it. Okay, so we're gonna go in with blush. I'm really a big fan of this whole bottom row of this Morphe blush palette. It's the 8W palette. I'm obsessed. The whole bottom row is awesome. So I'm just going to add some blush. I want to make sure that this is nice and obvious so that it's, it, again, adds more dimension to the face. And then I'm just blending out that nose contour a little bit. Oh, here we go with highlight. So this is the Jeffree Star Ice Cold Highlighter. Um, the reason I went with this one instead of Peach Goddess today is because I really wanted that intense highlight. I wanted it to be very obvious in the photo because I want that to really make my cheekbones pop. 
I'm also going in with the Makeup Forever Starlet Powder in 13. This is probably my most favorite product right now. I always put it on the inner corner of my eyes and on the tip of my nose, and I'm just obsessed. I think it makes a world of a difference when I finish my makeup. I like cannot do my makeup without this. <laughs> So I'm just putting that right on top of the cheekbones. You can see it just adds a little bit more of a shimmer to it. It's borderline too much. You have to be really careful. Like I put the lightest amount on my blush or brush possible. So I'm just gonna go in with those same shades underneath of my eyes. This one is the Sparks Fly shade. So I'm just taking that on a little pencil brush and putting that right underneath of my lash line. This is such a lovely shot. <laughs> Ew. Um, just to really open up the eyes. I really focus heavily on this and some mascara as always. So I'm doing some inner corner liner, which seems kind of crazy, but I just look straight into the mirror and I just tap a tiny little bit of gel liner right in the inner corner to kind of extend and darken that inner corner a little bit. And now we're going in with 3C by Makeup Forever. This is their Aqua Lip, and I'm just gonna line my lips. I'm focusing pretty heavily on my lip contour as well. I know that sounds weird, but I'm focusing a lot on the shape of my lips and how they look because I want that. So we're just gonna go in with Androgyny by Jeffree Star, and I'm putting this in the outer corners of my lips to really give it that like contoured look. And this is Birthday Suit by Jeffree Star as well, one of my favorite nudes. I love this nude so much. So I'm just gonna focus that on the center of the lips and gently blend that into those darker corners. And last but not least, a little bit of Drug Lord. This is my favorite lip trick of all time. So I just put a little bit of Drug Lord, this white liquid lipstick by Jeffree Star, in the center of my lips, and then I pat it out. I love the way this makes my lips look. And last but not least, some Scandinavia Bridal Setting Spray because I want this to last all day long. I'm sure I'm going to have to sit in the DMV forever. So that is it. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Okay, so I just got done curling my hair. I decided I am gonna leave it down just because I feel like it frames my face a little bit better than when my hair is up. Um, but this is the final look. You can see it's very natural, <laughs> uh, neutral tones. I focused heavily on emphasizing the key points of my face that I chose to emphasize. So my brows, um, I did a little inner corner eyeliner to kind of elongate my eyes without it being too obvious. I do feel like my last photo I had a very intense wing, and I don't think I liked it in the photo. Like, it was like a little too much, you know what I mean? Um, so, since I'm, I focused very heavily on looking right in my mirror, straight on, since it's gonna be a straight on photo, and I focused very heavily on the parts of my face that I felt like were the most obvious from looking straight on. So I highlighted right here to give my cheeks that little lift. I highlighted my nose, and I contoured, I contoured like, pretty heavily. Not crazy heavily, but like still I contoured pretty good because I do feel like, um, I mean it's, I, I just, I want to look skinny in my photo. <laughs> So that, I think, is it. I will list all of the products that I used down in the description box below. It's nothing crazy, nothing new. Um, I did use the Morphe 3.5M palette. I've already got stuff on it. I've already used this on a ton of my clients. I'm a big fan of this palette. So I did use this one in this uh, tutorial today. You can use any um, palette that you decide. I tend to like warm browns, so I liked these warm brown tones that were in here. And the black in this palette is really good, like really good good so that's why I went ahead and went with that one and I broke the one in my Jaclyn Hill palette so there's that I think that is all I have for you guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you would like to see next as far as my next video because I posted this on Facebook and I got a lot of responses so like if you find me on Facebook or wherever you find me, just leave a comment and let me know what you wanna see because I am writing a list, girl, and I am going to do as many of them as I can. So go ahead and click subscribe because I would love to have you part of my family here on YouTube, and I appreciate all of your guys' support, and if there's any way that I can help you or just give you a makeup tip or trick here and there, I would love to. So go ahead and subscribe to see those, um, and go ahead and like this video if you liked this. If this is the kind of style of video that you like where I just do a voiceover, then please like this video. Tell me. I want to know 
what works for you guys because after I've edited the video, I've already seen it a dozen times and I don't really re-watch it from start to finish because it's not new to me. So I need your opinions. So there, there was a noise, okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one.